Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by tbradley90 in the My Investing Club chat. A general reminder for those who do not know, MIC is having a one-year anniversary event where Bao is going to be trading live in front of our members. It's coming up August 17th. Mark your calendars. As an added benefit for our members, the event is 100% and exclusively free for annual and lifetime members. While lifetime, on top of that, get extra coaching before the event and guaranteed front row seating. While most charge for these events, we show our support by making it, again, free for annual and lifetime members. If you are interested in signing up for this event, DM TBradley90 in MIC Slack chat and or email myself at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. Now, today we have a very special video for you guys as Joe Kelly, one of our head moderators, does his Trading Basics weekly Sunday video series. And today he signs up for episode 34, in which case he talks about trade journaling and tagging in specifically the platform of Evernote. And while today is just a preview of the full-length video, if you want to watch the full-length or any of our exclusive content, then become a member of MIC. What's up, guys? I want to do a video for you about trade journaling. As a new member or as a new trader, you're most of the time going to end up with this fire hydrant of information coming at you. Um, and you're not quite sure uh, what you want to do with it, how you want to process it, how you want to apply some of it to your trading, whatever it may be. So I want to give you guys a little idea here on how to kind of catalog it, keep track of it, and kind of filter through these things. So with Evernote, that is what this program is that you're seeing in front of you right now. Evernote is a free trade or is a free journaling or note-taking software. Uh, you can just go to Evernote.com and download the software and sign up for a uh, free. Um, some uh, free little like or uh, login one I already have a notebook over here that I've taken a lot of other notes for myself in but one that I wanted to point out was I wanted to create this trade journal uh, and show you guys how I journal and I use that in this other section but this is just one of the simple ways that I do it and the way I break it down is in two different parts in the beginning so the first part is my watch list and I do this before I'm ready to trade, okay? And then after I finish trading, I go back and I look at my notes prior to the trade, and then I look at my notes after the trade. And you can start to judge whether in the moment you decided to change your plan because maybe you were emotional about the trade. And for this particular example, Mistrades and shorting the death line is the topics of today, basically. Uh, but now you've got this run-up that's happening on SUNW, and, and you've got to assume that they're going to try to use some of that ATM to be able to um, raise some money there. And so I always link that in my watch list. That way that I can look at this stuff. And it highlights it right there, and then there's the filing, so it's an at-the-market offering, B. Riley, up to 17.7 .7 million shares. And for MCEP, one of the key things here was that there was a line 85, 1, and 110. Um, I wanted to short into the 85 line if it did not gap down. Ideally, I wanted a gap down. But here's the thing. Now I go down and I save the line chart Okay, after the day is done. And this is what I want to point out. I call this a missed trade. So I always have two categories. I have missed trades and actual trades. My missed trades, I always want to visit those. And my actual trades, I want to visit those as well. But I also want to consider, do my actual trades cost me missed opportunities in other places because I'm too focused on other things? So a missed trade for me was on MCEP, and it was perfect to my plan. You know, two lines, uh, 78 and 84, risk being 85, since it, gap, since it was a slight gap up, and it started spiking into the prior day's resistance. You know, this is a first resistance short, and I failed to take this trade because I was focusing really heavy on RHE, um, and I again missed a, a, a super easy opportunity.
Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by tbradley90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.